what's going on everybody how are you doing my name is dr sami Bayer. please welcome back to my channel now part four of the exposing the female narcissist the female narcissist they will make an excellent first impression they can be irresistibly charming when you first see them sometimes most likely they'll be extroverts entertaining people people will be engrossed in talks with them you see narcissists make great first impressions with people they meet for the first few times so the female narcissist they have these impulsive flirtatious habits and they are habitual cheaters yes women who are narcissists are often habitual cheaters and if they are caught cheating they will deny completely they will deny everything and they will leave you wondering for weeks for months even for years if you really saw her cheating on you or if it's your mind that was playing tricks on you and yet you caught them and if you confront the female narcissist with evidence with unchallenged evidence about their cheating behaviors they'll blame you for making them cheat on you now the reason for them cheating is because they crave attention they thrive on attention and they want more people praising them the more that happens the merrier it is for them because narcissists thrive on attention they seek positive attention and they'll be in a hurry to obtain it now the female narcissists they exaggerate their personal capabilities and worth they will overplay and exaggerate their talents they'll show people how they know more than them the female narcissists they swears more and they behave more rudely they use more swear words anger words in their daily conversations they argue a lot the female narcissist cannot accept any criticism as feedback if you tell them what's wrong with their behavior they will hate you and insult you for doing that now the female narcissist they are unwilling to change for the better so if you are hanging out with the female narcissist hoping that they will change then you are living in a delusion they won't change for you or anyone else yes the narcissist women they are aware of their flaws they know their mistakes they know where they're wrong but they will not want to change or to improve instead they will first attack your ideas about them changing for the better secondly they'll never agree to seriously evaluate themselves they know that if they analyze themselves they might be forced to change and they don't want to change because to the narcissist they're perfect that way the narcissistic woman is extremely materialistic so long as you can buy her expensive stuff then you are good for her she doesn't respect your boundaries she'll blame you for all her mistakes she'll blame you for all the criticism she receives from others she's very sensitive to criticism and she doesn't tolerate even even the most minor annoyances she believes everybody is envious of her that everybody wants to rob her once the female narcissist is sure that you are dependent on them she will she will terrorize you she can insult you both privately and publicly to keep you under control she'll manipulate you into revealing your darkest secrets darkest secrets and she will use those secrets 
against you if they lose control over you. The female narcissist is quick and skilled at switching her role so that they appear as victims. She might withhold intimacy to punish you for being as obedient to her as she deserves. So how does a female how does a female narcissist behave in a relationship? You see, narcissists generally they struggle to love genuinely, to love someone. They cannot even love themselves. So their relationship exists to solely satisfy their needs and meet their demands. The female narcissist can't understand what other people are going through. She can't empathize with others. They can't wrap their minds around the situations of others and they won't feel bad. She will use their problems to make themselves look superior. She won't put herself in someone else's position and they believe that people deserve any negative thing that happens to them. So understanding other people's points of view to a female narcissist is impossible. The female narcissist finds joy in the misery of others. Because she likes to feel superior, when she sees others struggling, they feel better about themselves. Now, when she's the one who has caused pain or misery, she seems to be at her happiest. You see, female narcissists love making people feel inferior. That's what she loves doing best. She's very unstable. unstable. That's a female narcissist. They're mentally unstable. And they involve themselves in risky behaviors. Her moods change drastically and she can become upset without warning. One minute she's happy, the next minute she's quickly upset. And she can emotionally punish her partner. When a female narcissist disagrees with her partner, she punishes them, she punishes them emotionally. If a partner has different thoughts than her or if a partner doesn't want to agree to something, she swings into narcissistic rage. She doesn't handle that very well. She will disengage. She might go on silent treatment. She might ignore them until they give in, until their partner gives them what they want, until their partner gives in to her opinion or desires. Now, apart from ignoring their partner, going on silent treatments, disengaging from their partner, this female narcissist will claim that she's being mistreated. She'll even give her partner a whole list of reasons that she's treated unfairly and unjustly. And this will make her partner start questioning themselves. So, emotional punishment is number one tool of a female narcissist to getting anything she wants. She'll continue punishing her partner until her partner changes or caves in or changes those thoughts to match theirs. The female narcissist is jealous of other women. She makes mean comments about other women and she'll claim she doesn't get along with them. She believes other women are jealous of her. Not only is she constantly jealous of other women, but she believes that everyone is jealous of her too. She says that other women are jealous of her when she explains why she doesn't have many close female friends. When her friends or other people in her life accomplish things, she gets more jealous than ever. She'll find ways to downplay what they have achieved and imply that they didn't deserve it. Now she switches from loving you to hating you instantly. She will glorify and love those close to them, but quickly 
change when things go wrong. Once she gets what she wants in a relationship, she doesn't care about it anymore. She loves ruining the relationships of others. She loves seeing people hurting, people in pain. And she enjoys it more when she knows she's the one who caused it. She gets more satisfaction if she's the one hurting others. And she expects special treatment. Because narcissistic women generally believe they deserve special treatment. Even if they have done nothing to earn it. They demand that people should treat them better than others. That people should do special favors to them. She believes she is more important than others and that's why she'll be, she should be treated more, in a more special way. She feels entitled. She'll brag about her accomplishments. And she'll want more compliments from everybody else. And she's highly materialistic. She loves to spend money and to buy expensive things. She even loves talking about how much money she spends. So buying the most expensive items is the number one priority for this female narcissist. Even if it is at the expense of her family's well-being. And she's obsessed with the way she looks. Her outward appearance is more important to her than anything else. And you'll, know, you'll notice this by the way she carries herself. She wants the most expensive clothes, shoes, accessories. And she's also ex extremely obsessed with the way she looks. The female narcissist loves to shame. She lacks boundaries and gets a kick out of shaming you. She feels happy when she shames you. She'll detect your vulnerabilities and she'll use them against you to lower your self-esteem. She's always the victim. She's always in some crisis, whether with her partner, whether with her friends, with her family, job, health, money. She loves playing the victim in all these scenarios to gain sympathy. To the female narcissist, when you show compassion for her, then they believe you are easier to manipulate. She denies responsibility for any wrongdoings and depends on others to fix her problems rather than fixing them herself. She's like a child, basically. She is entitled to about everything. She believes she's special, unique, and that people owe her their attention, time, and resources. She'll do this by taking your belongings without asking or invading your personal space or by dictating how she thinks you should spend your time and resources. She never returns favors unless it benefits her in some way. She lacks the ability to give or receive genuinely. She's a bully. She leaves, she, the psychological damage the female narcissist leaves behind can be devastating and may not be reversible without the help of a therapist. The female narcissist wants to be the center of attention. She's demanding. Because of a sense of entitlement, she truly believes she's better than everyone and deserves to get special treatment. She'll go out of her way to be seen by frequently posting photos on Instagram, on social media networks. She might be intentionally loud and aggressive. They know behaving in that manner will turn attention to them. They are clingy and controlling in relationships to keep their man's attention on them. She'll use her sexuality to control men. She uses sexual dominance and control to keep her man interested in her. She uses seduction tactics to attract men and get whatever it is she's after. It could be sex, money, social connections, property, commitment, marriage, or even kids. 
Narcissists are generally loyal only to themselves, so she's okay with dating more than one man at the same time to maximize the material benefits. A lack of commitment and fidelity might explain why many female narcissists have a history of short-term relationships. And she's extremely jealous, spiteful, and vindictive. She's jealous because of her competitiveness or lack of a lack of self-love and the inability to validate her own self. So beautiful and intelligent women are instantly seen as a threat. Even with friends, she lacked jealous and envious of their achievements. If you do something the female narcissist doesn't like, she'll hold that grudge and try to get even. And uh, for the narcissistic mothers, their distance from their children, they are emotionally detached from their children, just as they are from their parents, or I mean from their partners. So they have this greater tendency to neglect, abuse, or abandon their children. So self-centeredness and not being able to feel for others make it easier for emotionally and physically to emotionally and physically leave their kids. So the narcissistic female is a uh, is a uh, is one who demands a lot of attention and they fear abandonment she acts like she's independent and has it together but underneath she's anxious and fears abandonment she knows that people don't stick around long so she fears to be abandoned you know, her, her behavior sabotages her chances for healthy relationships and pushes her partners away. So this causes anxiety and fears of abandonment and loss. So the fear of loss isn't due to her love and care for you. Narcissists lack empathy and they have difficulty experiencing emotions such as love, guilt and shame. So what she really fears is losing all the benefits she's getting from the relationship and she'll do almost anything to avoid the loss when you criticize the female narcissist she'll be highly sensitive and she will quickly lose her temper over it because the narcissist the female narcissist tends to be too sweet kind and loving until you say something she perceives as a big dog she wants to be the one judging and criticizing others. So if you criticize her, it will become difficult to converse and reason with her. them. So the female narcissist is never satisfied. She's an empty shell. They manipulate and exploit others. They use and misuse others. They antagonize people. They lack empathy. They think that they're the best. They're better than every other woman. So, how do you deal with a female narcissist? Keep your distance and don't engage with them. Don't conver start conversations with them or initiate a relationship on any level. Avoid them. Don't compromise on your standards or boundaries. Encourage her to seek help for problematic behaviors. Go no contact if everything fails. Cut off all contact with them. That is probably the best option. It's not your job to fix the female narcissist or deal with their behavior. Walk away and cut her out of your life completely. You will be much happier that way. Remember, the female narcissist always plays the victim. She punishes people for perceived slights. She acts. She actively sabotages other people's relationships. She has a serious sense of um, of taking pleasure in others' misfortune. She finds it amusing 
unpleasurable, when someone else is humiliated, when someone else fails at something, or something bad happens to someone, they feel good. She's obsessed with winning. She wants everybody to lose. She ignores people's boundaries. Does, she does what she wants. She refuses to take accountability for actions. Thank you for watching this video. If you love it, you've learned something up, uh, in this video, please say it in the comment section below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Remember, knowledge is power, information is power, and learning is a superpower. I love you all to the moon and back. God bless you. Catch you later in the next video.